Well, we're receiving alerts from several school districts over the last two hours. Many are keeping kids in the classroom throughout the entirety of the solar eclipse. An eclipse begins. Inside Riverview Elementary School, the classroom is bustling. Over the last few weeks, the lesson plans have had a specific theme about the science behind the solar eclipse. Some of them didn't have any knowledge about a solar eclipse. Like anything that happens that they can experience themselves, they love that type of stuff. The nation is buzzing about the rare event now just days away. And although Florida isn't in the path of totality, the eclipse is prompting local school districts to shift their plans on Monday. They can't look directly at the sun because we want their eyes to be safe. And they have a little bit more knowledge of how the solar system works and kind of how like unique of an opportunity it is for us to be in this partial solar eclipse on Monday. Right now, Polk, Pasco, Hernando, and Citrus counties announcing their modifications, canceling all outdoor activities until after 4 p.m. Hillsborough and Pinellas counties leaving it up to each school to decide how they'll handle after school activities. They're preparing for a rare event that's sparking conversation nationwide. They love going home, teaching their families about it. Um, that's something that I try to encourage just on the daily. If you plan on viewing the solar eclipse, you definitely want to make sure you have a pair of eclipse glasses because staring directly into the sun can cause permanent eye damage. And we have much more information about how you can stay safe on our website. In Tampa, Lenny Paul 8 on your side.